Hi there. In this video, I'm uh, in Field Maps, and I'm going to show you how to integrate Field Maps with other applications using Deep Links. Uh, I'm using a Samsung S9, so this is uh, uh, Android. So you can see I've just got these simple blue polygons here on a map. Um, it's around London area, and uh, I can do a few things here um, with regard to in, uh, integration uh, to apps that are already installed on my device. So. If I just press on this uh, boundary, which is actually a triple SI, you see I've got these links come up. Um, that's the, it's Darrenth Wood, it's a triple SI, um, si special scientific interest. And what I've uh, got here is these links, as you can see. So I can fire up YouTube, so that'll activate, uh, but it will fire it up with a specific video. So if I press that link, it'll actually um, execute the actual um, application of YouTube so here's YouTube mobile app and it goes to that video although of course I've got some uh, got some ads on there but the the video is how to validate and fix geometry in QGIS so it, you can make it go to a specific video um, or you can I've got another one another link there it says just go channel so if I hit that one it'll fire up YouTube um, mobile app skip the trial and it goes straight to this absolutely amazing um, GIS channel with lots of hints and tips and, um, and it goes straight to the channel you see so let's go back to here another thing you can do is integrate with teams I do a simple one with integration with teams chat um, and it just kicks off uh, chat so I'll just press it there you go so teams is already installed it goes straight there and it actually goes into a chat session uh, and I'll show you how to add other users automatically if you want to. But you see, I'm actually in a in a um, a Teams chat session there. Let's go back, uh, and you can do lots of other things with Teams. Actually, go to particular content, uh, and then the final link example is open a Word document. So I've got Word installed on this device, mobile, and I want it to pick up a particular document. So I press that, press the uh, link. And off it goes, Word kicks off. Now the thing about this actually is that the Word document comes from a cloud drive. Um, and there it goes. Uh, it, that actually came from my OneDrive on, um, and, you know, from Microsoft. So that was stored you know, in, in the cloud. So, so there you go. So there's, there's the example of it working um, and their, their links inside a pop-up in field maps. So now we'll just go to the um, web configuration tool to show you how to set up those links. So here we are in the web um, application in Arches Online to uh, where we do the configuration for the pop-ups. So if, if I click on um, this polygon here, you can see there's there are my links and that's the um, sort of pop-up content. Uh, the, links are, the, the links won't work in the, in the browser um, in this app uh, as they're not sort of valid as search and when you um, hover over let's say fire up YouTube at the bottom left there you'll see it actually points to your own um, sort of web map item ID so you can only test this in your um, client environment of course um, okay so how's it done well the, the, the trick is you may have noticed already that actually I'm in map viewer classic and not in the new map viewer and it's prompting me here if I want to open a new map viewer so these this configuration I'm doing in map view in map viewer classic um, mainly because it, it, it you can't do the same sort of thing with the new map viewer at least not not from what I've seen um, prove me wrong in the comments below if, if you, you've got it um, working as, as like this uh, the, the, the because you're using sort of HTML um, creation of of code of, um, of the pop-up um, itself you're kind of building it and um, so it works slightly differently than what you get in the new map viewer but classic has this great functionality um, which I'll now show you so you go to configure pop-up now the thing about um, the what's going to pop up here is I've got these expressions you see I've got four expressions one to build the YouTube um, link uh, another to build the other YouTube link that goes to the channel uh, one to build the teams chat activation and one to build the word one so I've got four so that's what these so the first thing you do is you add an expression 
So if we look at the YouTube one, so this is the expression zero, let's just click on that. Let's see what it does. So all I'm, all I'm doing here, and actually I haven't bothered to name it, you know, I could have named it, that's why it just says expression zero. All, I've, all I'm doing here is just creating this very simple URL. Um, sorry, I, I should say URI really, because it's a, it's, a, it's a direct um, hit on a particular resource. But the, um, uh, the, the, the trick with all of this is to know how to build that URI. That's the, that's the information you really need. And then you can just run with it. So for YouTube, it's vnd.youtube, and then you have a, a colon, and then whatever um, reference you want. So as you can see here, I'm actually picking up the rest of that URI and going all the way through to um, a feature deep, deep link. Now, deep link is, is a column in my database. So, and then I return all of that. So all I'm saying there is that that will be built up of whatever value is in deep link. And now you see here, I actually print the value and it's that. And that is the uh, unique channel uh, video ID in YouTube for one of my videos. So, and that's come from the deep link column. I think of um, if I cancel this for a second, I don't think I've sort of populated all of. Have I populated all? Oh, I have. Okay, then. So um, they are all in there. Okay. So um, uh, so if we just go back to that config pop up. So once once you've created this, you used add and created expression to what to whatever uh, uh, URI you want to build here. However, you want to do it then um, in the pop-up contents you configure a custom attribute display so you click configure um, and there you can see my pop-up but don't don't work in there click on the HTML source and click on that and that's really this is where you're you're placing your ahrefs as normal HTML and the rest of the blurb however you want the HTML to to, to fit together um, you know, in terms of formatting and, and fonts and whatever, I just do it very basically. Um, so it's standard, you know, ahref and this expression zero, for example, that one um, will, will turn into a link for uh, a specific YouTube video. So what about the next one? Well, for one, it's slightly different because I know my channel name. And what you do there is it's vnd.youtube colon and then a small c forward slash and then the name of your channel and that's how you construct that one what about the next one i think that's uh, teams chat so teams chat that gets a little more tricky and I, um, and what i'm going to do is i'll paste the urls um uh, the documentation urls in the description of this video so you can see how you construct um how you construct these um because uh, there's quite a few parameters when you use Teams. I'm only using the chat one, but um, but actually there's you can go, to, like I said, to specific content uh, and, and uh, um, text, etc. It's quite powerful. I, I just call up a chat um, uh, column, uh, chat window, sorry. If you put a, a, a comma after each name, um, then um, and then type in another, Username, um, as long as they exist in the in the teams, um, uh, as long as they exist in that list and users equals whatever, they'll be added. And as long as they can be found, those email addresses, they'll be added to your chat. So that's teams. What about the word one? Again, word, a bit more complicated. Um, there's. Uh, let me just. I'll just press return there. Um, purely so you can read it all in one go. So here there's a there's this URI construction, the schema. This is this is opening a uh, file. I think that's read only O F V. But uh, but I'll I'll put the um, uh, again the descriptions of this the, the schema how it all works in the description because there's a few parameters you can set here. So and notice actually on this one I've got an HTTPS reference to the source of the Word document because that's a Word document that I um, put on my my own OneDrive. So it can actually go off anywhere, really. 
could, it could be you know some Amazon file share or you know the cloud or a server where you can access you know this sort of thing so that's how word so the, the trick there is uh, MS Word colon and then a load of parameters so um, and back in configure here you see you're just adding these so there's expression three over there expression three and that's a word document so that is how you do it and when I press view HTML source again it goes up and you can see um, what it what it all sort of looks like so there we go that in uh, very, very quite quickly really in a nutshell is how you can integrate um, field maps with apps and, and there's a lot of apps out there actually you can integrate with for example there's Salesforce um, Lightning the, the mobile um, field service app from Salesforce there's uh, I mean any any office app Excel or, or, or um, PowerPoint um, you know any, anything on on Android and like I said it, it works on um, Apple iOS as well anyway I hope you find that useful thanks <laughs>